for this and I'll ask the donut for that. Do not be rude about your dad. He'll be here. Oh, he won't. He's forgotten. I bet he has. Head in the clouds. We're just copying Brenda again. You two be quiet. Though your kids are going to be the only ones not on this school trip at this rate. You said you'd take them. Now, just stop mocking about and get here. Can't you just take us? At least we'll get there. It's not Dad's fault. Well, it's not mine. Right, that's it. I'm taking you myself. Told you you'd forgotten. I told you about being rude. But where is he? Are we going or not? Um, when you get this, Ellis, I'd even hear you go out this morning, but um, you and me, we we need to have a minute. So, so we can we can have a chat. So late! It'll be fine. Oh, I'm supposed to be in charge of the pigging school. <gasps> With that kind of language. Are you still here? Yeah. We need a new alarm clock. Well, at least Ellis on April to school, eh? Yeah, and then he left us to sleep like lemons. Oh! oh could this day get any worse? I just thought I'd stay here and wait for Ellis to get back. You're on duty, Missy. Right. That's a handbag sprinkled in for another year. Come on, Vic. See ya. Go on, off to you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Oh! I mean, Joseph Tate officially missing and your brother being Being yanked in by the fuzz. Yes, I get your drift, dog. Lock him up and chuck away the key. Absolutely no inference of that sort was intended. Right, so what's your point? Well, have they released him? Yeah. I'll tell him to expect a celebratory hot chocolate next time he's in, shall I? Ah. Would you okay to see? Please don't ask about my brother. No, I won't. I'm too angry with Bob. Well, that's why I'm here. Has he told you what's happened? I sacked him yesterday. Has he said anything? Doug, have you heard this? That's why he's hiding. He's only been sacked now. No. Well, that doesn't sound right. Look, he had a massive rant at me in charity, but now I've had a chance to sleep on it. He wouldn't have been like that unless something was wrong. Oh, don't protect him. He doesn't deserve it. It's just one letdown after another with him, and I'm sick of it. It's the kids I feel sorry for. He doesn't deserve your sympathy. I'm not surprised you've all got such big families round here. Nowhere to go, no way of getting there. There's not another bus until dinner time. What's that behind your back? Yes. Have you got my mum pregnant? <laughs> Calm down, it'll be okay. Does she want more kids? How would I know? Your husband. We haven't even touched on the subject. I'm very mature. She was sat right there and then I found this. Can I take you through the evidence? Are you asking me that because I've been inside? My whole family's been inside. Okay, so she's running down the stairs, right? She's late, tired, very stressed. That might mean something. She sits down, the bag drops, scrabble, scrabble, stuff going everywhere. She exits. A lipstick rolls across the floor under the chair where the bag got emptied. I reach down. Was it the butler with the dagger in the kitchen? Oh, this is so serious. <laughs> OK. So, are you and her using contraception? Oh. In your own time. Too late for embarrassments now. So are you? Well, that is a very good question. I don't know. And by that I mean I'm not. So you've left it all up to her? Not in an irresponsible way. But yes. <laughs> yes! Oh my God! Look, just put it on here, look, like this, trying to build something here, trying to build an empire for you. Well, not quite, but, you know, doing my best. That's it. Hooray! Well done. <coughs> so, 
She's out. You look like you're expecting a pasting. I'm not scared of you. Look, if I was in your shoes, looking out for my mum, I probably would have done the same. Really? Well, no, actually, I wouldn't, because I'm not a grass, but what I'm trying to say is, I understand what you did protecting your family. Yeah. But it... it did just kind of happen in the moment, and, you know, obviously, I don't want Mum any more upset, and... I didn't ask for chapter and verse. I think I'll, uh, go and do some clearing in the barn, then. Matty. I never meant for it to happen. Would you all, but it did. And if the police can prove anything, then... Okay. You're gonna need to be there for your mum and him. He's already missing Kyle. I'm sure it will be okay. Yeah. Well, no <laughs> thanks to you, eh? Hey, it's okay. What's the matter? Have this one here, look. Take a break with your dad for a while. Um, you haven't seen Bob on your travels, have you? No, sorry. I'm happy to come back with you. Uh, go and check the properties we're selling off. The for sale signs are going up soon, and I don't want to be haggling over price because of a few loose slates. Hmm. I thought you might want to hold on that, in case the more stuff comes out about Joe. But just don't take too much on. It could be a difficult time coming up for you. You're scared of bumping into angry tenants. Well, yeah, and that too, when they are losing their homes. The sales are going ahead as planned, and please don't talk about Joe again. Is it giving you a hard time? It's possible Joe could be dead, so I've got to cut him some slack. What has he said about Kane? Oh, he barely talks about work, let alone personal stuff. Anyway, after this, it's angry tenants. Not that I seek to benefit from anyone's eviction, but I don't suppose Crane could be persuaded to rent one of the properties out instead of selling them all? No chance. It's all Kim's orders. He's not going to make any exceptions. Shame. Because I've decided to move closer to work. To the village? Hmm? Hopefully. That doesn't horrify you. <laughs> Despite everything, I still care about what happens to your brother. He didn't have anything to do with Joe's disappearance, did he? Kane's many things, Harriet, but he's not a killer. Anyway, Graham reckons that he's still alive. This is the nasty piece of work that broke our Debbie's heart twice. He'll be safe somewhere, finding all this hilarious. Doug, any news on Bob? Brenda's popped up. She's doing some ringing round. I sacked him. I feel terrible. Bob! Yes, I know. I think he bedded down in our cellar the other night. First of all, I thought it was one of your rough sleepers until I found Bob's wallet. And then when I asked him about sleeping there, he just went off on one. I saw him yesterday. Maybe he wasn't in a good way and I missed it. We love Bob. Just all went wrong. What the hell's going on? OK. Now, don't go mad. I tell my deputy that I was having an emergency smear. I don't even know if there is such a thing. They're going to be talking about me in the staff room. What's happened? Um, is this yours? <laughs> I thought you said it was an emergency. It is. I found it down here under the chair. Are you pregnant, Mum? <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Would it be that ridiculous? Since we've already got two kids each by four different people, I can't keep up with the maths. Why are we talking about this when I should be at school? Because this was in the exact place where you dropped your bag earlier. I was worried. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not happening. I'm going to tear him limb from limb. No, when I told you about the evidence earlier... I'm going to kill him. I forgot to mention that Victoria was in the room. And don't you even think about smiling or you'll be next. Hi, Bob, it's Harriet. I'm uh, just on my way to Marlon's in case you're there. Look, I'm not worried. No, I am, just a bit. So, can you be a mate and give me a ring when you get this? 
please. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Bob! Bob, wake up! Please. Yeah, I found a man. He's unconscious. By the footbridge, Cricketers Row, Emmerdale. I, I don't know if he's breathing. Let me, let me see if I can find his pulse. Oh, God. I can't feel anything. My hands are so cold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I should be able to do this. He's my friend. He's been outside maybe all night. It's blue and it's cold. So how many people are going to be turfed out? Not that I'm saying you're doing the turfing. Carrie and her family, Diane and Bernice. Oh, all the scary Marys, huh? I don't envy you checking their paintwork. How long have you been thinking of moving? Hmm. Ever since the shine wore off the countryside commute. I'm on first name terms with some of those sheep, you know. Eric, it's lovely if you don't find anything around here. Except, Rishi, I did say closer to work. I don't know, who knows? I'll just keep mulling it over. Mm. Oh, thank you. Harriet? Hey, calm down, what's the matter? Well, someone said they saw an ambulance. Apparently they sacked him because he got verbally abusive. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, he's not your problem. No, it's not that, it's just that I feel really guilty about him. He is an adult. Bob's in hospital. It's bad, it's really bad. Can you take over in there, please, Dalton? Uh, Dad, w w will you ring the factory for me? It doesn't need everyone. No, if it's bad, I'm not letting you go on your own, OK? D will you just say to Jay I'm not coming in today? Brenda, what's happened? Harriet found him. She was babbling. He was on a bench. Where? I don't know. It's unconscious, that's all I know. So, you're now saying that Keen Dingle was drunk when he confessed? Yeah, I mean, we both were. He, he did say about... Joe being dead and that he was glad. I'm really sorry. I, I feel like I've wasted your time because uh, sober it's not as uh, clear cut as it seemed. You happy about your mum being with him? Not entirely. Is she scared of him? Is that what's behind all this? No. Wasting police time's a criminal offence. And this is the second time you've got confused about Kane Dingle in as many weeks. You've obviously got some personal issues with him. If we weren't so busy trying to find Joe Tate, I wouldn't be this easy on you. So you're still investigating then? A missing man with that many enemies? Definitely. Hello. Um, we're looking for a Robert Hall. Brenda? Is he OK? He was still unconscious when we took him through. I'm not his next of kin, so... Right, well, I'll, I'll go and find somebody. It's all right. No, you stay with Laura. Had he collapsed? Banged his head? Uh, nothing like that. I was looking for him because I was worried. You know, he lost his job. Yeah. I thought he might be at Marlon's, so... On the way over there, I just happened to glance over at the bench tucked away by the bridge, and... It looked like a pile of rags, but it was him. There was a brandy bottle next to him, and he was stone cold and blue, and... Oh, God, Laurel, what if I hadn't seen him? I mean, I worry the stress has all got on top of him and he's had a heart attack. Mm, I'll ring the hospital later. He is my patient and he's such a sweet guy. Hmm. Look, if you really feel being nearer the village would suit you better... It would be great. I mean, my house is too big. And to be honest with you, now that Aisha's moved out... Good. I... I'll ring all my contact to see what we can find for you in the area. Oh, that's kind. Day off before you ask. 
Do you have the ambulance near your place earlier? No. Everyone OK? I hope so. We've had our own dramas at home. That's why I ducked out here for a treat. So what can I get you? Tap water, please. Right. I need to get back. Uh, just occurred to me, did you think I was going to ask you to move in? Well, no, not for a second. See, I've learned not to rush in, because you told me that we should take things slowly. And I completely respect that. Come in, Vic. You found the test, didn't you? I, just, I panicked when I heard you coming down the stairs, so I, I kicked it under the couch. Of course it was Jessie's. It'll be all right. Well, Ellis, he's on his way home now, and I've left him loads of messages, but he doesn't know. Oh, you poor thing. Have you had a chance to get another test? Do you know what's happening? No, I've been stuck at work. And I didn't do this deliberately. I missed a few because I was going between here and my house and the pill was in the wrong bag and I, I just forgot. Accidents happen. Are you OK? Then why aren't you at work? What's... It's my fault. Marlon found something and he thought it was your mum's and well, you should have been the first to know, but... Oh, right, well, um, we'll be fine. Well, I mean, it'll, it'll be okay. I think we should do it now. Should I stay down here? Maybe best. No, I'd, I'd rather you were with me. Oh, I, um, I had a massive wee before I came round. Oh, Ellis, just take her up a glass of water. Just two minutes, Vic. That's it. Just give me a hand. That's a good boy. So we're already back to you holding in your anger so you can blow up again later. No, I'm not. I mean, nobody likes a grass, but if I can see his point of view, why can't you? Because I'll be left on my own with everything if you go down. And who's he to launch it and decide when we're in danger? I mean, how dare he? Your new mate told me you've been titivating the barn. It's going to take a lot more than that to put things right. Right. Look, about the police. You know what really knocked? It is you letting me think it was Debbie. I'm sorry about that. Listen, I never would have let Debbie take the blame. But the police, they're not dropping the investigation on Joe. I've just been to withdraw my statement. I did withdraw it. But they, um, they said it was still suspicious. Great. Now you've made a bad situation worse. Clever lad. How could you be so stupid? Oh, I thought you were cool. Oh, of course I am. It's great. I've got no idea how it happened. <gasps> what have I always said to you? Hey? Eh? What's in your trousers is your responsibility, not hers or any other woman's. I've bought you millions of condoms over the years. What should I do? Start praying. Because if she is pregnant and chooses to keep it, which is her choice, by the way, you are going straight back to teacher training college and joining me on the treadmill for the rest of your working life. Welcome to the real world. God, your brother's done plenty, but he's never done this. Oh, woman, how would you know? <gasps> no, don't, don't, don't apologise, all right? I'm used to it. He's terrified, so what do I do? Have a go at him. <sighs> He'd been sacked. He would be angry and sad. From what Chas said, the way he was acting, it just wasn't like him. And I saw him yesterday at the village hall, and looking back, it was definitely something not right. Mm. He looked a mess when he came to the cafe. But why didn't he just go home and sort himself out? Why sit on a bench in the cold? Do you think it was a cry for help? Have you been to where he's living? Well, no, he's only had it a couple of days. Yeah. Bed sit, I think. And we've not been on the best of terms. But he didn't want the kids to go and visit him. So it must have been bad. Oh. Is he all right? We've stabilised him, but he's asleep at the moment. Oh, thank God. 
It's just that he's got young kids, you see. Sorry, you are... Oh, um, family, sort of. And Harriet's a vicar, but it's OK to... We've treated him for severe hypothermia. He'd drunk quite a lot of brandy. Bob's not a drinker. Not really. Has he said anything? He was very withdrawn. Maybe he thought the alcohol would keep him warm. It's absolutely the wrong thing to do, but we find it a lot. What do you mean? I think what the doctor's trying to say is... Bob slept off last night. No, it's not right. It's not right. It does kind of make sense. I mean, he had a sleeping bag and so many clothes on. Well, why didn't you say? Oh, shut up. Because it's Bob and I was in shock. And I know I shouldn't have been because I've seen it so many times. It doesn't make sense, though. I said, shut up. It makes perfect sense. Another good man dumped on the scrap heap because of you. Dale's back in half an hour.